Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling guys. So today I'm going to have a quick little sit down with you ladies about, I want to say luxury bags that are under a thousand dollars. Now, everyone does not like luxury. They don't. Um, it may appear that way on social media, but there are women who just like quality bags and we all know all luxury bags don't necessarily have the best quality um so i have about maybe 10 bags here and they're ranging from ysl to monster gabrielle and jack moose i think that's how you pronounce jack moose and the reason why i chose these bags is because i think they have really great quality um some do have logos however if you they're like they're not big bags so if you don't like logos and it's not for you um i'm gonna jump right in the first bag is the saint look i have my phone and i have paper here because the i had to like really search for ones that i would wear that are not super tiny i don't like many many bags if my cell phone can't fit in it i'm not going to get it it's a waste of money for me um even if I'm going to dinner or to an event, you always have your cell phone. Most of us ladies have a the regular iPhone, but then there are some like me who need to get the plus because I have big hands, guys. I need the plus. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pop in pictures over here so you guys can see it. And the first bag is the Saint Laurent. Um, what is this? The Maltese flap pouch. It's quilted. And the reason why I like this bag is because it is quilted. However, it's still very grainy. And when it comes to grain leather, it's a lot more durable in my opinion. Um, I'll show you guys my Monsur bag. And that bag is lambskin. It's very delicate. Kind of like the Chanel bag. So it has gold on it. They have multiple colors. They have one, two, three, they have seven colors. So if you are a person who wants more of a neutral color, of course you can get that. They do have white also. So they have white. What is this here? Fuchsia. If you want brighter color, they have a pretty green color, which is like an army green, olive green. I say army. I don't know why. Um, and it has a wristlet. So it's a wristlet clutch. The wristlet piece can actually come off, so if you don't like that part, definitely take it off. But I think this is a really good bag, and the price for this one is only $7.25. I think $7.25 is good for a cute clutch bag. Okay, so that is number one. And number two is the YSL small puffer bag. This is also a clutch. Now, listen, every bag that I'm saying here, because I am tall, these are the bags that I would wear. I always say, <laughs> as a tall woman, I personally feel like I look really weird with like super mini bags. So I don't do it. A lot of the things I wear are a little bit larger um, and it's because I'm tall. So if I bought a clutch, it'll be like some of these clutches that I have sitting here that I'm gonna show you. Um, and the reason why, it did just look weird to me on me um to each his own but i definitely think taller women bigger women should not wear super mini bags they have clutches that are a tad bigger that look really really good on you um and guys as a stylist i do tell women that like even though we see trends and stuff it doesn't necessarily mean that we should get it again if my cell phone don't fit in there it's not going down so the small puffer they come this come in like i think four colors i believe this one is 9.95 now this one is lambskin. So of course I'll pop it in a picture. It's lambskin and um, it's a lot more delicate. So this is something that you wanna wear out maybe to brunch with your ladies, even to dinner, but be careful. You don't wanna scratch it up because it is lambskin. I love lambskin, it's so pretty, but it's also very, very delicate. So that is number two guys. And number three is the YSL envelope flat pouch. Now this pouch actually looks like the um the tablet one the maltese one um the difference is it has a little bit sleeker finish in the front and um it's also still the grainy leather which is perfect but it's a little bit more sleeker in the front they really look alike to be honest um let me just double check yeah so both of them the 
the wristlet part does come off. They literally look like the same bag. They're very, very, very similar. One is $7.25 and one is $7.45. Let me make sure I'm not going crazy. Yeah, they look very, very similar. Yeah, so those are good prices for YSL. And then number four would be the Uptown Clutch, which you guys know is the really flat clutch. Um, beautiful. This one is set $5.95, actually very, very low in price now. You cannot have a wallet inside of it. It is way too narrow. It's going to bulk out and it's going to look like you smashed a bunch of stuff in there. So I would recommend getting a a um, a card holder that can slide right in there in your phone, <laughs> in your lipstick, like a small mirror. Things that are pretty flat. Um, you can possibly put your lipstick in there because it does open up a little bit bigger at the bottom. Of course, the pictures here, guys. Um, but it's a very, very flat bag, not meant to have a lot of stuff in it. But I definitely think it's a really nice bag for under a thousand dollars. And you guys know why it still has really, really good leather. To me, right now, I think YSO has the best leather. Um, I don't know. I just, I really like their bags. I think from the change to, from the chains on the bag to the leather, I just, I love their bags. So that is number four, and that's the last one for YSL. So now we're gonna jump into Jack Moose, Jack and Moose, Jack Moose. Um, and their bags are ranging from the three that I like are 625 up into 910. And the first one is the Lay Bambino Long. Um, the Lay Bambino Long and the Lay Grande Bambino pretty much look alike with the exception of the strap. So the Lay Bambino Long does not have a long strap for you to cross over your body. However, it does have um, a hand strap so you can have it here and you could also carry it under your shoulder so they have of course a million colors guys and that bag is actually 910 which I personally think that the lay Bambi the lay grand bambino should be a little bit more I don't know I like it a little bit better so let's jump we'll jump into that one which is the lay grand bambino pop in a photo this one actually has a shorter strap at the top so you can't necessarily put it under your arm, um, but you can carry, definitely carry it here. And then they have a long strap. You can cross over your body or wear it straight down your shoulder. Um, and that one is 860. And the last one is the Lay Bambino, which is a mini miniature. It's not the tiniest one, um, but it's definitely smaller than the rest of them. Big enough for my hands though, guys. <laughs> and that one is 625 and I'll pop in a picture of that one. So I'll, I think I'll pop in all three so you can see the sizes of all three of them. But um, the quality is great. Uh, I would consider them trendy. However, if you get a classic color, I think you should be okay. Um, if you get a crossbody one, you can wear it all the time. Running errands, you can dress it up, dress it down because it actually has both straps. It has the short one and it has the long one. So that's the last part of the Jack Moose bags. Those are three bags that I definitely think you should look into getting that are under a thousand dollars. Listen, some people may say, oh, if you can't afford luxury, why are you putting the price range on it? Some people may just want a cute bag and don't want to spend five thousand dollars on a small little bag. So that's why I'm, I'm, I have this list together for you guys. <laughs> So now we're gonna jump into my favorites so far um, are the Monster Gabrielle bag. You guys know I just did a video on the white one that I purchased. Um, despite the shipping of the last bag, I absolutely love the quality of these bags and I love the shape of it. I don't know, I just really, really, really love these bags. They smell oh, amazing. They're really, really nice and I wish that they Actually, I'm still gonna pop in a photo of the white one. I wish that they would just go back to their old packaging um, Because I may not purchase a bag again. I just kind of feel like I don't know I just feel like it's, it's not doing any justice for your customer, but this bag is now $6.95 it used to be $5.95 so they did go up $100 and I think I purchased this one last year they have a sale right now guys so if you are looking for a cute bag like this, 
definitely hop over there they have they don't have any more white but i think bloomingdale still has black which is a little bit more at bloomingdale's um and they have a beautiful blush color like a darker pink i think they have green and i want to say it's that green that's um let me double check i, I want to say it's that kelly green i can be wrong but um they definitely have a sale right now and hop over there guys they do have a new bucket bag coming out i'm gonna see if i can find it and pop in a photo I love it <laughs> and I don't want to buy it because I don't want that package I think the packaging is so trash for them to do um, especially as they're not as luxury as some of the other designers so I just feel like put it in a box the experience is what we look for um, and they do have new ones that came out that are similar to this that have like a little sh little strap I don't really like them um, I think you could actually hide the strap, but I don't really like them and I'm not really a fan of them. No, but let me check the sale for you ladies. Um, I honestly, I think it was like three eighty five. I think it came to $400. It's worth getting guys. I, I, I'll be honest. So yes, they have like a peach color, like a lime type of green. They have, um... What other color that's on sale? They had another bucket bag that's on sale. But these are the cloud the cloud clutches. And I absolutely love the cloud clutches. Oh, this is even on sale now. The other one with the chain, the smaller version. So they have mini and then they have like a medium size, which is what I have. And again, they are $385 on sale right now, guys. So let's see what they have left. The color, this is, I paid full price for that one. So, that one is sold out. That one is sold out. White is sold out. The green one is here, the puff color. Um, Delia, it's like a darker pink. And then there's no more black. But guys, listen. Bloomingdale still got them. So go check them out if you are interested in this bag um they have black and i'll tell you this i would get a black one from bloomingdale's i would because i really like them a lot um i'm not gonna show you something that i don't like like the hats that i purchased from brixton they were nice the thought was concept was good they executed it bad spraying those hats like that like they were just horrible um the original hat that i got from them which is the basic straw color hat was nice and it was shipped pretty good so I don't know it's like trying to go back to these brands and stuff hmm. it's a no for me so I'm gonna jump into the next set of bags which is I'm going into Gucci and this is the Ophidia pouch this is the one that I have guys there is another version to this one I'll pop it in it's a little bit more square it out it, it reminds me of a man's bag for some reason this is a cute bag so this has logos on it but i think it's very cute it's minimal um you know gucci this is like that canvas almost like louis vuitton but i really like this bag they have a few more bags in this style in this um material um and design that are crossbody bags i didn't really like those it was just a bit too much for me i did like the clutch um and i believe i paid like 870 for this one yes so if you guys are looking for a cute little clutch if you are okay with the logo I, what I really like honestly the bag could have just been this color here with the green in the middle I would have been totally happy um, but I really like the colors they're not too bold um, and it goes with what, what I have on right now so so that's the Ophidia and then the last one actually is two more from this so it's two more bags. So from the from the same Ophidia um, line, this is the Ophidia GG. I'll pop it in. It's a small chain on like a wallet type of bag. Um, so just like those YSL bags, all those chain on the wallet bags, they're pretty small. Um, I like this one because it's still minimal. It's not too big. And I love the gold chains on the thing. So that's another bag. That one is a little bit more. It's 940 but I actually think this one is better. 
to me because I, I can fit a lot in here actually like I really can when you guys are buying these bags online and it, and they say mini make sure you're looking at the dimensions because honey <laughs> this a Gucci bag it's so small that your cell phone can't even fit in it and it's literally just a waste like it's a waste of money unless you're going somewhere I don't I don't know I just think it's a waste as a crossbody don't be plus size with it it'll be way too small it's gonna be too small on me I'm tall it's just gonna hit me at the wrong spot and it's probably still gonna feel tight on me so it's not worth the money for things like that just kind of be smart when you are shopping and buying things pay attention to the dimensions um, the same thing I preach when you shopping for clothes, guys. And the last one is, is the Chloe bag. Um, it's the mini alphabet saddle. <sighs> this bag, I've never seen. And when it popped up, I was like, oh, I like this. It's very sleek. It doesn't have much detail on it. Um, for, the, for the ladies who don't like logos, this is a perfect crossbody bag. You can definitely dress it up and down. I am actually I'm thinking about gonna, gonna get it because I like the structure of the bag. Um, Chloe, people sleep on Chloe, but they have really cute bags. Um, I will say this. If you saw a Chloe bag in the store, I'm, I'm relaxing now. If you saw a Chloe bag in the store, I would say go to the outlet first because Chloe, for whatever reason, have the same bags, guys. Um, some of their bags still cost in the 2000 range, but you can still get a really nice bag, like the Nile bag. I will forever love those bags. They're small, but I still really like them a lot. If they come back out, I'm sure I'll get one. Um, if you are a person who just buy bags based off of trend, then it's outdated for you. For those of you who don't care, like myself, you can still get the bag, guys. So that was 10 bags that I gave you guys. So between YSL, Jack Moose, Monster Gabrielle, Gucci, and Chloe, guys. Those are all the bags that are under $1,000 that you should look into if you're actually trying to build up a collection um, until you get to your big one, unless you want to do it the opposite way. Get your big one first. <laughs> it may be Chanel. It may be... Um, it may be another Gucci bag. It may be a Versace bag. It could be anything. It, whoever. It can be an Hermes bag. Um, but if that's what you want to do first, then you do that. But I still think that if you are going to start a collection and start buying bags, don't do so many trendy bags at first because you're going to have to rotate them a lot. Like really get them out and get some new ones in. Try to get some basic colors and basic styles. Classic. I don't want to say basic because we're not basic over here. Some classic styles that could actually last for a long time. I have some Gucci bags from the disco. No, what? what, what? Mm, they're so old, but let me tell you, they are forever going to be in my arsenal of bags. I wore one recently and the lady was like, oh my God, is this new? I'm like, no, I had it for a really long time. I think it was the color too. It was a pretty burnt orange bag. Um, they, what line was that? Because I have one, two, three three of those bags I forget the line but anyway those are the bags that you can think about getting that are under a thousand dollars guys some it'll bring you over the ones that are like nine forty five nine ninety um yes it's gonna bring you over but think about getting something like this if you want and also I do not recommend super tiny tiny bags if you do not have a collection of bags already um it's kind of pointless but if you do have a lot of bags, then I definitely say, hey, go for the mini. Um, I personally don't do mini bags. I'm just way too tall, guys. If they look funny on me. I don't even care. Um, so, but if you don't care, then get it. Actually, there's a Fendi bag, too, that's not that high in price. And it's a really small, let me see if I can find it really quick before I get off of here. Um... There's a couple that's under a thousand, but they're they're small guys. So the new clutch that they have out with the huge F, yeah, they have like they have like Wayne of uh, Wayne's chains on wallet on chains. They have those for like eight ninety. Um, I'm actually gonna save this and put this in for you guys. They have some chains on. Why do I keep saying wallet on chain? <laughs> they have some of those, and they have another one. 
it kind of looks like a man's bag. Let me see. They have a quite quite a few. Oh, this one here. I, have you guys seen this bag? It's a nano, and I don't even know how tiny. Let me see if it's gonna show what a person. Nope. Yeah, you can't even see. I don't even know. It's 11 centimeters. <laughs> that is tiny, guys. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. This is so bootleg. It looks like that that clutch that they have with the big F, but it is tiny. So probably, it looks like a, oh, it says the leather charm. It says a charm, but it has a chain on it. I don't know. It's very, very small. But um, they do have some pretty decent bags, too, for under $1,000. Um, but like I said, be smart. Don't buy something that's so small where your cell phone can't fit in and you still have to have your phone in your hand. It's kind of pointless. So just be smart when you're buying stuff. Or if you just want to wait and purchase the one that you really, really love, then just do that. Not to say that these are not bags that you're going to love, but, you know, sometimes you may see a small bag. You say, hey, let me start my collection off. Get a color that you can use all the time. And cost per wear, guys. Because let me tell you, this Mansour bag is, is Mansour. I think I'm saying it right. It's not a lot of money. But oh my God, I love this bag. I wear it all the time. So those are the bags that I think you should think about getting that are under $1,000. Um, if you don't like any of those, there are definitely more out there, guys. <laughs> There's more, but just keep in mind, again, the size of the bag and what you want to actually put in the bag and how you're going to wear the bag. Are you going to wear it just because it's small? I mean, it's trendy. Or are you going to, is it going to be something that you wear often? Like a bag that you take to brunch all the time with the ladies, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. Let me know. I can do shoes as well. Um, cause I got some big old feet guys. <laughs> um, if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you and guys, please follow me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco styles and why that is my business page and Coco styles NYC is my personal page for tall women. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.